Hi guys, Christina here from Redefine Creative and I'm up with a new practice video for you today. And I'm using my May Hip Kit to create this one. And so there you see I've already cut some letters with my silhouette for the title. And I'm just kind of showing you the different kit contents that I pulled out to use for this layout. And it's all going to be centered around using that strip. And what you see I did there off screen was I painted just with white acrylic, cheap white acrylic paint. Um, a circle and I just traced around actually a kitchen plate to get that. And then I went back with my embroidery thread and stitched three different overlapping circles um, in that painted area so that they stood out a little bit more. And what you see me doing right now is I'm going to go ahead, this is the technique I showed you guys before, I'm going to pull out my gelatos to color my wood veneer words. And so what I'm doing right now is making my title match the blue background of the, the background layer of my layout. So I'm taking the gelatos and I'm just coloring directly on those wood veneer pieces. And then I'm going to go ahead and use that little mini mister to just apply some water with my fingertip to the top of each of those words to blend the colors. I did want a little bit of the wood grain to show through just because I was trying to create motion on this layout. So from the paint in the background to the stitch circles to those wood grain, the little wood grain look throughout the letters, I wanted to create this idea of motion because this picture is a picture of my son um, on the teacups at Disney World from our most recent trip to Disney World. And in the picture itself, my son is in focus and the entire background is blurred to show that motion of the teacup spinning. So I wanted to keep that motion going throughout that entire layout. All right, so you see there I've just I've added my water and my gelatos, and then I'm also going to take a bunch of the little uh, cups that were wood veneer pieces in this kit as well, and I'm also going to color those with my gelatos in a pink, yellow, and orange colors that kind of go with the rest of the layout. So here I'm kind of deciding where I'm going to put things. I have that big title that says spin and I'm actually going to add some more detail. And then what I wanted to do is put these wood veneer words into those triangles so they would overlap that entire border piece that I had created. And then I'm also going to add some teacups on the diagonal to make it look like they're moving or spinning out of control. And then over there on the right I'm going to go ahead and stack up three in kind of a wonky stack just to show it's you know it's a subtle Disney theme and it shows you what the ride is without being your typical like black red and yellow Walt Disney theme color page so it's a little more bright and cheerful a little more fun layout than that and here you see I've grabbed my fine line bottle with my scotch quick dry adhesive and I'm just attaching those wood veneer words into the triangles that I wanted them to show up in and I wanted that awesome to overlap onto the picture and so and then I'm just going to tuck it into that border treatment and you see I've also added a journaling card um, on the bottom where I'm going to put the rest of my title because I wanted to use some of those gorgeous navy blue letters that also came in this kit and so right now I'm just getting all of those little pieces attached and then I'm going to work on attaching those letters that spelled spin so I took the letter cu uh, cut file from the cut shop and I used the white outline and then I filled in the letters with one of the other pattern papers that was in this kit. And I also used that same pattern paper to create a little bit of a mat behind my photo of my son. So there is some continuity there. The colors also match really well with that triangular border treatment page that I have on the side. And there I'm going to add those stacked up teacups. And I'm making sure everything is stuck down. And then you're going to see me grab my letters. And off screen, I add the rest of my title. So it's going to say, shall we go for a spin? And then I'm going to come back in with some of the enamel dots that were also in the May Hip Kit. And go ahead and add those in three little clusters throughout the layout. And that is going to pretty much do it. So I love the really fun colors. And it has a Disney feel to it, even though it isn't your typical Disney colors which I think just adds interest to my Disney album. So I hope you enjoyed this layout. And if you did, go ahead and like and subscribe below. And I will be back soon with another process video. Bye.